Hey everybody, welcome to Genius Tech Gadgets. Today, we will go over the top 10 weapons that might be small but a shell in the Ukraine war. Watch until number 1 because it's one of the most unbelievable weapons I've ever seen. The Javelin missile is part of an extended system design to allow infantry to deal with armored targets. The Javelin does away with wire guidance and instead uses an automatic infrared guidance system. It is a fire and forget weapon so that the user can relocate or take cover as soon as the missile fires. Upon firing, the missile first experiences a soft launch, which propels the projectile out of the launch tube without the flight motor igniting. After a short delay, the flight motor kicks in and powers the missile to the target. After launch, the missile uses an onboard infrared imaging and tracking system to accurately make its way to the target without any assistance from the operator. The weapon ranges over 4,500 meters (2.8 miles), keeping the operator out of harm's way. The actual high explosive anti-tank heat warhead itself is a tandem charge, the first of which detonates any explosive reactive armor to clear the way for the main charge. The main charge can penetrate 700 mm (27.5 inches) of steel. A multi-purpose warhead (MPWH) with devastating fragmentation warhead that is even deadlier against personnel was designed for the system. One of the more exciting features of the Javelin is its top attack ability. The missile can ascend to a maximum height of 150 meters and strike a steep trajectory. It attacks the top armor of the missile, which is usually very thin. According to CGTN, this is the most dangerous anti-tank weapon Ukraine owns. If the Ukrainian forces had received enough of these missiles, maybe Mariupol wouldn't haven't been surrounded. The FIM-92 Stinger was designed and developed in the United States by General Dynamics. The FIM-92 Stinger missile is 5 feet long and 2.8 inches in diameter, with four 3.9-inch folding fins that keep it stable while in flight. The missile weighs 22 pounds, and when in its reusable launch tube, it clocks in at 34 pounds. It's fitted with a grip stock and identification friend or foe IFF, antenna, the latter of which receives power from a rechargeable battery. The warhead encases in pyrophoric titanium contain 1.02 kg of HTA3, a mixture of HMX, aluminium powder, and TNT. It features an impact fuse and a self-destruct timer that detonates the missile 17 seconds after it's launched. The Stinger uses an infrared seeker that locks onto the heat emitted by an engine's exhaust, making it highly accurate with targets between 3,800 and 4,800 meters away. It can also hit anything flying below 3,352 meters, making it an ideal weapon for targeting low-flying aircraft typically used for strafing, reconnaissance, and troop resupply. Stinger has many variants and the latest of which is 92K. The Stinger Reprogrammable Microprocessor RMP, Block 2 and the Stinger Passive Optical Seeker Technique Post, are the two most used variants. Block 2 was developed in 1996 and introduced a new focal plane array sensor that improved the missile's accuracy in high clutter environments. It also increased the engagement range to 25,000 feet. This missile shot down most Russian helicopters and fighter jets in Ukraine. W is a short-range anti-tank missile whose characteristics make it a hybrid. It's armed with a powerful 150mm high-explosive anti-tank heat warhead designed to knock out Russian main battle tanks at short ranges. But like other disposable launchers favored by NATO militaries, it's a single-use system with basic optics that is extremely easy to use. Even the MLA's firing mechanism is a novelty. Instead of an embedded lever or trigger on its launch tube, it has an ergonomic grip on its right-hand side behind the bulbous muzzle brake. How to aim the NLAW? It's a primary optical sight with 2.5 times magnification installed on the launcher. Night vision and red dot sights are available upon request for better accuracy. It was designed as a single-use weapon system. The NLAW can't be reloaded. Furthermore, its range is modest, with its farthest reach of stationary targets at 600 meters. The effective range against moving targets is up to 400 meters. 
All newer missiles have updated guidance software and can engage targets at 800 meters and up. In 2022 the UK delivered hundreds of these anti-tank missiles to Ukraine to defend against a planned Russian invasion. Starstreak is a short-range, man-portable, air defense system manufactured by Thales in the UK. It is optimized to provide defense against air threats, including fixed-wing fighter ground attack aircraft and late unmasking attack helicopters. Depending on customer requirements, it can be configured in both man-portable and vehicle-mounted battlefield roles and is the fastest missile of its type globally, highly accurate and resistant to countermeasures. The Starstreak missile has evolved and is currently in its fifth generation. The fire control system has incorporated significant improvements in target tracking and a reduced training burden. In addition, Starstreak fire control systems can now carry a mix of both Starstreak and another of Thales's missiles. The lightweight multi-role missile, LMM, is optimized to provide additional protection against smaller, slower, but highly agile targets, including unmanned aerial systems, UAS, soft-skinned vehicles, and fast inshore attack craft, FIAC, when employed in the surface-to-the-surface -surface role. Starstreak's highly unique design significantly differentiates it from other Shorad missiles. It was designed and developed from first principles to fast, evasive, or heavily armored pop-up targets, all in a short time frame. The system requires travel at exceptionally high speed. Simultaneously, it has to be small and light enough to be man-portable on the battlefield, where it may increasingly need to deploy in urban environments. The missile comprises three tungsten darts released from a carrier powered by a rocket motor. The darts are accelerated to a speed more than Mach 3.0, and the fire control system's laser beam writing guidance ensures exceptional accuracy whilst being almost resistant to countermeasures. Recently, a Ukraine unit shot a Russian helicopter broken in half by this weapon. The lightweight, portable Panzerfaust III has been in the news lately due to its use in the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Thanks to its shape-charged warheads, a newer version of the World War II-era Panzerfaust allows soldiers to penetrate all forms of tank armor. The Panzerfaust III is known for its compact, lightweight design, which enables it to fire by a single soldier. Its ergonomics follow a predefined standard, and the controls, including its pistol grip, were designed to be easily handled from all positions. The Panzerfaust III features a disposable canister with a 110mm heat warhead, the DM-12 or DM-12A1. The original Panzerfaust III had a combat range of 15 to 300 meters against moving targets and between 400 and 600 meters against stationary ones. It didn't have a significant backblast, so the soldier could fire it from tight places. Many Panzerfaust III variants have been produced over the decades, the first being the Panzerfaust III-T, developed during the late 1990s, it was a vast improvement on the original. It introduced the dual hollow charge 3T tandem heat warhead, which included an explosive charge in its spike. This pierced explosive reactive armor, ERA, allowing a second warhead to damage a tank's primary armor. Of the most effective were the Panzerfaust 3T-600 and the Panzerfaust 3IT, which could defeat heavily armored tanks with ERA. Its newest variant, the Panzerfaust 3IT-600, can travel up to 600 meters thanks to its Dyna-range fire control unit, which assists with sighting and targeting. Other notable variants are the Panzerfaust 3LR, with a range of 800 meters and the ability to penetrate 700 millimeters of armor, and the Bunkerfaust, an anti-structure version designed for urban combat. It uses a 106 millimeters tandem high-explosive dual-purpose, HEDP, rocket that can break through buildings, field fortifications, bunkers, and pillboxes. Maybe it was a factor that changed the armored warfare in Ukraine, The Switchblade 300 is a small loitering unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, used by numerous U.S. military branches. It was classified more as a direct fire munition than a drone, and its compact size makes it ideal for use by smaller units. The UAV made headlines in 2022 after the U.S. government announced it was sending 1,000 Switchblades to Ukraine. 
The Switchblade 300 is a UAV developed for platoon-sized infantry units and intended to be small enough to fit within a Marine's Alice pack. Weighing only 5.5 pounds, it launches from a tube, flies toward its target and crashes into it while detonating its warhead. It uses GPS, daytime and infrared cameras, and an aided target tracker to identify, track, and engage with stationary and moving targets. It has an operational range of 10 kilometers, 10 to 15 minutes of use, and can travel between 63 and 100 miles per hour. While this makes it impractical for scouting missions, it's ideal to engage with long-range targets and relieve units pinned down by the enemy fire. Of note is its warhead. An explosive charge equivalent to that of a 40mm grenade can destroy light-armored vehicles. Should the target change, it can be programmed to detonate at a predetermined height and adjusted mid-flight. The switchblade can also allow it to engage a secondary target if the target change in flight to reduce collateral damage. Next is the Man Portable Switchblade 600. Designed as part of the Army Single Multi-Mission Attack Missile Development Program, it packs a much larger punch than the 300. Its upgrade Javelin Anti-Armor Warhead accomplishes it, which can penetrate armored vehicles. It also has an increased speed and operational range. Traveling at speeds of between 70 and 115 miles per hour, it can fly out 40 kilometers in just 20 minutes, after which it can loiter for another 20 minutes. A mysterious new loitering kamikaze drone called Phoenix Ghost, developed by the U.S. Air Force specifically for Ukraine against Russia, is part of the latest U.S. security assistance package announced on April 21. Phoenix Ghost provides similar but not the exact capabilities as the Aerovironment Switchblade tube-launched loitering munition. There are differences in the scope of capability for the Phoenix Ghost, but what those differences are is unclear. It will be helpful against different types of targets. Switchblade is a tube-launched loitering munition that carries a camera and a warhead. It can use for surveillance or attack targets of opportunity. It can target a fixed position without anyone manually piloting it. The US already has donated 400 Switchblade loitering munitions to Ukraine. The first shipment of 100 mostly made it to the country last week, when announced a further load of 300. Switchblades come in multiple sizes against different targets the 300 and far more powerful, anti-armor capable minus 600 model. The latter is in short supply as it was just introduced into US stockpiles. In many cases, the deadly drones can be reused for surveillance missions if they employ as kinetic weapons against enemy forces. Zelensky government hopes these kinds of weapons will help to liberate Mariupol. The Stugna P is an anti-tank missile system designed and manufactured in Ukraine. It can destroy low-altitude, slow-moving aerial targets and penetrate armor up to 800 mm in thickness with the laser-guided system ranging 4,000 meters. The operating temperature ranges from 40 degrees to plus 60 degrees. The Stugna P can destroy armored targets in all-terrain conditions in various climatic conditions at 100 to 4,000 meters. The launcher unit of the Stugna P consists of a tripod, a missile container, a guidance device, and a computer used to control all the firing operations and allow the operator to remotely control the launcher station from a safe distance of up to 50 meters. The laser guidance sighting system is the PNI that can use during day and night conditions with a firing range from 50 to 5,000 meters. The PNI weighs 17.2 kilograms and features a television surveillance and sighting system, a laser range finder, a laser guidance system, and a control system for the missile's axes. The Stugna P can launch 130mm and 152mm missiles, the most common of which are the RK-2S, RK-2 of, RK-2MK, and RK-2M of guided missiles. They can equip with different warheads, including tandem cumulative, high-explosive fragmentation, or thermobaric. The Stugna missile uses semi-active laser beam riding guidance, and with its tandem-shaped charge warhead, it is capable of penetrating up to 800mm explosive reactive armor. 
The missile of the Stugna P can destroy stationary and moving armored targets protected with state-of-the-art composite and explosive reactive armor and is suitable for use in both ground-to-ground -ground and ground-to-air roles. Carl Gustav is shoulder-fired and reusable with a laser rangefinder. It beats the one-shot at four rocket launcher. It takes a two-person crew, one to fire and the other to spot and carry ammunition. The sustained fire of the Gustav is six rounds per minute. But a single user can also fire it, although this slows down the operation. Personnel can shoot while standing or kneeling or get down into the prone position for deadly strikes. It can launch high-explosive, high-explosive anti-tank, and high-explosive dual-purpose rounds, plus smoke and illumination projectiles. There is even a laser-guided munition in the works. The extensive 84mm round helped by the recoilless design that is necessary by sending a counter-recoil blast of fuel to keep the launcher steady. The Gustav can engage targets from 200 to 1,300 meters, weighs 15 pounds, and is nearly 3 feet long. The titanium barrel helps with range and accuracy. The Carl Gustav is an excellent weapon to suppress the enemy. If they are fortunate to live through the blast, their heads will be down for a while as the main element of attack from friendlies moves forward to complete the mission. It's good the testing went to special ops units first, so they could judge it in battle, and then let it filter down to regular line units. There is a lesson that could have chosen to cancel the XM-25 Punisher bullpup grenade launcher much more accessible to save the military time, money, and resources. But the Gustav passed the combat smell test, and looks like it will have a long life in the US military. The Ukrainian army uses drones for various missions to fight against the Russian invaders. The fighters used a smartphone attached to a remote controller for a drone to spot ambushes as they worked to clear out Russian forces from the embattled suburb. And they were also conducting surveillance from the air, guiding attacks for mortar and artillery. Converting the feature hybrid zoom on DJI Mavic 3 into a spy drone. Tapping the binoculars icon will get you into the explorer mode of the DJI Mavic 3, allowing you to use the 28x hybrid zoom mode. The 28x hybrid zoom mode starts with the primary camera, and as you zoom in further, the drone will switch to the telephoto lens. You can see a demonstration of this in the video below. This option makes the DJI Mavic 3 a budget-friendly spy drone with which the fighters can observe Russian troops from a distance. The Ukrainian drone pilot is flying the DJI Mavic 3 with the standard RC-N1 controller moreover a DJI RC Pro remote controller with a built-in display. This remote comes standard with the DJI Mavic 3 Cine Premium Edition. I'm amazed when I see a cheap toy transforms into a dangerous weapon. What about you? Comment the down below. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of gadgets, technologies, engineering, tools and more. Check out this playlist of my videos and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.